In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with FAS similarity. In example A, it says, are the two triangles similar? How do you know? Well, what I notice is that we're given in each triangle two sides and one angle. And the angle that we're given is the included angle for the two sides we're given because it's the angle created by those two sides. So that means this is a good candidate for using FAS or side angle side similarity because that's what we have, a side, an angle, and a side in each case. So what we have to test is that the angles are congruent and that each pair of corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So the angle in each case is a right angle 90 degrees, so they are congruent because all right angles are congruent. So we know that angle B is congruent to angle Z. Next we want to check our side lengths and see which ones match up. The longer side, 36, must match the longer side of 24. So we have to check 36 over 24 and see what that reduces to. And as a decimal, it reduces to 1.5. Now what we want to do is check the other pair of sides and see if that also reduces to 1.5. So the other pair of sides would be 15 and 10. So we're checking 15 over 10. And that is 1.5. So because these are each 1.5, we're in good shape. And that means the triangles have to be similar because we also had the angles were congruent as well. So they're similar by SAS because two pairs of sides are in the same ratio of 1.5 and the included angles are congruent. Let's look at example B. Are there any similar triangles? How do you know? So in this picture, there are two triangles, and maybe they're similar, maybe they're not, but the triangles are AEB, that's one triangle, and then the other triangle is the big triangle, ADC. So it's possible that these two triangles are similar by SAS because they each have angle A, in their triangle, so that means they have a pair of angles that's congruent, and we have information about the sides that surround the angle. So we already know angle A is congruent to angle A, that would be the reflexive property, and what we want to test now is the ratio between the sides. So in the smaller triangle, the sides are 9 and 12, and in the larger triangle, the sides are actually the full lengths, so the whole length here would be 9 plus 3, which is 12, and the whole length over here would be 12 plus 5, which is 17. So we want to match up the corresponding sides and test the ratios. So we're going to test the ratio of 9 over 12, which is this side on the left, 9 from the small triangle, 12 from the big and see if that matches up with 12 over 17. So when we do 9 over 12 as a decimal that reduces to 0.75 and 12 over 17 is about 0.7 so the ratios do not match up which means that the sides are not proportional and therefore the two triangles that are in this picture cannot be similar. So even though they have a pair of angles that are congruent, because the sides don't match up, they're not similar. Okay, and let's go to example C. From example B, what should BC equal for the two triangles to be similar? All right, so let's go back to example B and figure out if we can change side BC. So side BC is right here, and it was 5. So what we want to figure out now is what should that be in order to make it work. So we're going to make that be X, which means that the full side length wouldn't be 17. It would be 12 plus X. And what we want is this ratio of 12 over 12 plus x to be the same as the ratio of 9 over 12 from the left side. So we're going to set up an equation 
9 over 12 has to equal 12 over 12 plus x. And let's, again, see where that came from. 9 and 12 are the sides of the smaller triangle. And 12 and 12 plus x are the sides of the bigger triangle. And the 12 plus x comes from over here, that it's the full length, 12 plus x over here. So now we want to solve this by cross multiplying. And we get 144 equals 9 times 12 plus x. And then we'll distribute the 9. And we get 108 plus 9x. And then minus 108 from both sides. We get 36 equals 9x, which means that when you divide by 9, x has to be 4. So if side BC was 4 in this original problem instead of 5, then the triangles would have been similar because their sides would have been in the same ratio.